What is going on everybody? It is Glig here and I'm finally back with a new video on this channel. Surprise, surprise, it has been like a year or something since I've last done a video. Probably not like a year, like four months or something like that since I've done an original video. I'm super excited about this one because finally a game, yet another game that I've been waiting for for years has just launched on early access over on the epic games uh store and that's ooblets this is sort of like a life simulator sort of farmville or not farmville harvest moon-esque sort of game where you collect little creatures and sort of you know design your own life sort of like you like what you would do in animal crossing uh but it's kind of a unique spin on those type of games and i'm super excited to finally start playing this um yeah this game was announced i want to say back in 20 i believe it was 2017 i think e3 2017 it was e3 2017 or 2018 it was announced so yeah we've been waiting like well over two years now for this game uh since its announcement if i remember the uh announcement date properly but anyway so yeah like i said this is an early access so uh and this is actually the first day this is actually launch day for early access so um I'm not expecting that there to be a ton in this game like right off the bat um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of content on the way so it might be a little bit bare bones but uh, I'm gonna check it out right now um, uh, I'm gonna read this real quick so this says hi everyone we're so glad you joined we're so glad you joined us to be a part of Ooblets and we hope we can make the game into something you'll love this is the very first release build, so there's a good chance there'll be some pretty big bugs we missed. Okay, obviously, uh, there's probably going to be some bugs. Check for updates frequently and join our Discord to report problems and get help. I need to join the Ooblets Discord. I don't think I'm a part of it yet. Uh, we'll be working really hard to fix things as quickly as possible, so please bear with this, Rebecca and Ben. Um, so yeah, this is the first build, or the first public build. Um, and uh, yeah, obviously there's going to be some bugs, obviously, since this is the first release. But uh, let's jump right into it. I'm really excited to see what this game has to offer. Settings. Is there anything I need to change real quick? I'm looking over at my recording. I think it's okay for the most part. We're going to think I keep everything at 100. What's the highest? <laughs> what's the highest graphical setting? I, like, I can't tell. Is it beautiful the highest or is fantastic the highest? We'll just leave it at beautiful. The game seems to be running fine for now. All right, new game. Let's get into this. What's your name, buddy? Spell it out. So we're just gonna be Glake. Uh, yeah, we'll just be Glake for now. Why does that look like an uppercase Glake? It's not, I'm just tripping. Uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, I just realized that the game sound is pretty loud. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit, okay. So skin tone, obviously we're black. Thank God we could be black in this game. Uh, let's see, hairdo. So not a lot of hairdos right off the bat. Um, kind of assumed that there wouldn't be that many in the game. We will just go with this one. Hair color, we'll go with black for the hair color. So yeah, very, <laughs> very bare bones uh, character customization so far. So I, one thing I'm really hoping for is either there's more character customization options built into the game, um, or they're gonna add more down the line very soon. Cause that was, uh, that's one of the main things that I always look forward to with these type of games. All right, so we got clothing options. I already like this one. I may actually just go with this one and check out what else they have. Sort of flannel and then it kind of loops. Oh, can I not rotate my character? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I can't rotate. We'll just go with this for now, I think. Or should we go with the sweatshirt? It's summertime. This is pretty hot for summer anyway, but I'm gonna go with it. All right, let's jump right in. Your life has been a giant tube. <laughs> <clears throat> so far, you spend all that 2D life on the isolated Auro Island, where the people are stuffy and there aren't even any ooblets. That's why you decided to leave. Oh god, we're on a boat. We're on a boat. You 
You're off to the distant shores of mainland Uba. That's the name of <laughs> That's the name of the the place we're going to, Oob. I should probably get my keyboard like more aligned. It's like pushed far from me. A place you've only heard vague tales of, a fabled land of oddity, creativity, and Ooblets. Dude, this looks really nice. This looks really nice so far. Mayor T Mayor Tinsel? Tinsel. Oh Biddle Boy. Are you from the Ooblet High Council? Is this a surprise inspection? Did I fail? I, uh, no, I'm Glake from Aro Island. Oh, then how do? Welcome to Badge Town. My name is Tinsel. Oh, and I'm the mayor. What can I help you with? I'm looking to start a new life somewhere, possibly here. Splenda. <laughs> Who says that? Were you looking to buy a house, maybe invest in the local economy? Well, I have no money or skills or personal possessions, so a true entrepreneur then. Facts. Dang, she knows. I can work with, I can, why is her head going like that? That's super weird. <laughs> I can work with this though. Yeah, I've been needing a helper for my ever expanding mayoral task list. And there's an old abandoned farmhouse you can have if you help me with all the junk I gotta do around here. You in? Free houses just don't get offered every day. I'm in. What can I help with first? Fantastic. Oh no, of course. Fantastic would be too normal. She says fantastic. First off, wait. Where are your ooblets? I don't have any. They don't have ooblets where I'm from. Huh? Not even an oogum? It's going to be tough to do much without ooblets here. Well, your local ooblet club will probably be able to give you one. What ooblet club are you in? Uh, we don't have ooblet clubs where I'm from either. What sort of no bother? You can join one here. Let me fetch our local club leaders and you can introduce yourself to some townsfolk in the meantime. Those birds are really cute. They remind me of action Pokemon. Oh, dude, this is sick. Can I run? I can run, but the controls are a little bit weird. Just because, like, I have to hold shift and, like... I don't know, I can't, like, I can't, like, dash and... Huh. I can't, like, dash and really hold the direction at the same time. I almost kind of wish you could just click and drag where you want to go. Uh. Alright, we gotta talk to eight people, so... Charles. It's Charles. You're standing awfully close to me. Oh, hi, I'm Glake, and I'm new in town. I suppose you'd be wanting to, uh, wanting to know my name now, huh? That's okay, you can tell me when you're ready. Okay, fine. I'm Charles. I make clothes at my Kibon... Kibon Bon. I'd shake your hand, but I don't do that. <laughs> okay. Do Ooblet Spotted Dumb Bird. Is that what these are called? Huh, interesting. Alright, let's check out this person chilling by the waterfall or the water fountain. Hello? Mead. Howdy how do dearie. My number's not up, is it? Huh? I'm Glake. I'm moving to the old farmhouse. Oh good, I'm Mead and I run the little gardening shop here, so I guess we'll be seeing a lot of each other. If you have any spare produce, you can sell it to me. And if anyone starts asking too many questions, tell me first. <laughs> okay, so so far we met the guy who runs a clothing shop and the dude who runs the uh, gardening shop. Taffy. Taffy do, yes it's true. Okay then, I'm <laughs> going go away now. That's it? Savage. Rung, how do you pronounce her name? Rugnolia. Rugnolia. Okay. Are you the research assistant I requested three years ago? No, I'm new. I'm just new here. I'm Glee. Introductions. Okay, sure. I'm Rugnolia and I operate the Learnery. What is Learnery? Which serves a variety of purposes too complicated to get into right now. And if you're going to be sticking around, you should have this. Grum. Grumboire. Grum. Grumboire? Grumboire. 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 Like Grimoire, but Grumboire. Okay. I get it. I got it, like, within the first two seconds, I swear. <laughs> it keeps track of all of your tasks, items, friends, that sort of thing. How does it do all that? Science and magic and junk. You'll figure it all out. 
or you won't. I have no metric of your aptitude for these sort of things. Open your grammar with tab. Interesting. So you got stuffs. Basic sprinkler blue blueprint. Hmm? Automatically waters three by one area of your farm. Oh, I can buy these right here. More ooblets. Clicky claws and oogum will move to Badge Town. Got speedy grow. So this is like a bunch of stuff I can buy just right off the bat. Uh, then we have just stuff, friends tab. So these are the people that you meet in the game. Ooblets. I guess these are the ooblets you own. Follow babies, home babies. So maybe there's certain ones that only stay at your house. I don't know. And badges. I'm assuming these are I'm assuming these are like achievements. And almanac. So you got like an ooblets tab of like an ooblet decks. <laughs> A crops desk de decks, recipe decks, and items that you found. Okay, interesting. So it's kind of like your your list for everything you've come across in the game pretty much. Can I interact with that? It's shiny. Guess not. I don't really know how you interact with things. So you know these birds are following me. Double. Hey customer, what can I get you? Bean juice? Spressy? Sorry, I don't actually have any money. Not winning customer of the month so far. Well, when you do scrunch up some money, spend it here at Cuddle Cups. I'm double and I serve the best best and only bean juice in town. Bean juice? That, I don't know. Honestly, that doesn't sound good. Have I talked to this person? Yeah, that's Taffy. I didn't talk to the dude carrying the thing. Pult. Howdy doody. Looking for a bun? No. Or I don't think so. I'm just moving to town. On to Badge Town one Pult, local Bunglebee delivery fellow. Here's a little gift from the Bunglebee company to welcome you to your town. Okay, Bunglebee bun. Nice and soft, a good source of energy, contains 40 energy. They're the finest prepackaged treebees in Uber. Eat Bunglebee buns for a quick and easy boost to your energy and mood, probably. Cool. So this is like gonna boost our stamina so we can continue farming more, I'm assuming. Okay, so I can't go up there. You can't buy it. You're broke. Are you stupid? Yes. The way they jog is so funny. Like, look at how he runs. It's like slow jogging. Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've talked to him. What's this dude all about? I have no idea how to pronounce your name. Mil Milu? Milu, like mellow. I'm Milo, I saw your boat, boat pull in. Are you some sort of rich tourist come to buy all our postcards and novel t shirts? No, I'm Glake and I'm looking to start a new life here. Oh, blah, what am I supposed to do with all these novel t shirts? Novelty t shirts. And then there's Ara. Digging your whole, digging your whole deal you got going on. Very confused, shit. I'm Glake and I'm new here. My favorite type of person. Wait, what? My fave type of person. One I don't know yet. I'm Ara. Splenda, everyone is here now. So basically, Ubit Cubs are little social groups that uh, each have their own themes and personalities. These are our local Ublet club leaders. I thought I'd let them each give you a quick pitch to see what they're about. Oh, so we get to join a club for real, for real. Okay, so we got Melda. We'd love to have you join Fron Fron Buns. We're delightful. I'll never join a club with the name Fron Buns, so pass. Basil. Uh, peak snubs don't do pitches. You should be pitching to me. <laughs> peak snubs and beat and bittle. The club of born leaders, strong competitors, and just generally successful people. What did the other one say? The club for sweet cuties who love cute things. 
<laughs> oh boy. Okay, that's funny. All right, next we got Vidion. I don't really know what to say about mimpins or what to do with my hands. This dude seems kind of weird. Uh, the mimpins and side and side key. Side key. Is there like a pun there? I don't think so. No. Okay. The club for clever people who aren't very good at social interactions. <sighs> like, I feel like, I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm not very clever, but I'm, I'm the back half. Uh, outgrid. If you like adventure, the outdoors, and nature, you should join me at Moss Sprouts. Moss Sprouts and Trumbo. Trumbo. The club for woodsy, outdoorsy types who love a good adventure. Yeah. No, that's it? You've got to be kidding me. No. I was really hoping there were eight options just because I spoke to eight people. All right. Well, I think it's pretty obvious which one I'm going to join. Like, I think it's very obvious. Uh, if any of you guys know me personally, I think you guys all know which one I have to join. It's pretty obvious. So... We're going with Peak Snubs and Biddle. Obviously, the club for born leaders, strong competitors, and just generally successful people, even though I am not the back half. <laughs> uh, Basil. Honestly, I would probably go with this one, too. Like, I'm, I'm actually kind of stuck between these two. These sort of decisions, like, I'm always, I just... I can't decide. Choices like this are just, just tear me apart. <sighs> like, he's just way too weird. He's way too awkward. He's way too awkward. Like, like, if you have somebody who tells you, I don't know what to do with my hands, that's probably someone you're going to have to keep away with, keep away from, just saying. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to join this guy. Uh, Peak Snubs, let's join him. At least you have distinguished tastes. Now you'll need to start proving yourself as worthy of being a Peak Snub. Let's see what you can do with this little runt. So it looks like this is my first ooblet. Honestly, pretty cute. He's a beetle. Oh, you two look like a perfect match. And then off everybody goes. Now that you've gotten Ooblet, you should try getting into a dance-off. Ooblets are my mis Ooblets are mysterious creatures, and they apparently love dancing. It's very important to them. All we can do is support their interests and set up elaborate, contrived, competitive dance scenarios for them to show off in. You'll be amazed at the sort of conflicts that get resolved in the medium of dance. Oh, here comes a worthy competitor to let you practice. Oh, God. Really? Right now? Oh god. Dance challenge from Blump Stump. Let's do it. Here's where you pick which ooblet you want to dance. You only have one so far, so it's an easy choice. Obviously. Alright, here we go. What? This is a card game? Each turn, you draw random dance moves for you to choose from. Okay. Oh. <laughs> You have some basic moves that will always be available. Each ooblet also has its own unique move. With some experience, they can learn new moves. Moves cause beats, and you get a fresh beat, and you get fresh beats to use every turn. To start with, you'll draw four moves and have three beats per turn. Some moves, uh, some moves increase your points, lower your opponents, or do other junk. The goal is to get this number of points before your opponent. Twenty. Okay. Interesting. So we're both at zero. Well, we're going to get our value up first, obviously. Get our draw power going. So will I have five next turn or no? Oh, we have to choose a dance? 
Oh, wait, I can end turn. Okay. Earn one hype. Oh, wait. Do you just draw a brand new... Huh, interesting. Because I lost that other one I had in my hand. Accidentally ended my turn by pressing E. No, I'm gonna lose now, dude. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, I thought. Why did I press E? I am. I'm. I'm freaking devastated. I am so serious. Oh my gosh. I don't want to lose my first dance battle. Come on, man. Seriously, what happened to my card that stole four? I need that. It went away. He's gonna win. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Man. Man. I've also been stuck at that many beats. I am super upset. I am super upset. There's like nothing I can do. I lose. I lose. I'm angry. All because of that. I clicked E by accident. I concede. I am very bitter. I am very bitter, but I'm angry. Remember when I said that back half of the club thing did not relate to us? There you have it. Huh. I really didn't think you would lose that. Neither did I. I shouldn't have. I pressed E by accident. Anywho. You should head to your farmhouse and get settled in. Fine. See, even she's disappointed. <sighs> I'm actually very salty about that. You have no... <laughs> You have no idea how upset I am about that loss. Like, I'm actually pissed. Where is this place I need to go? Seriously? My farmhouse? Where is it? What is this? Got, like, stickers here. I wonder how you interact with things. Okay, well, I don't have, like, a map or anything yet. Oh, here's the arrows telling me where to go, I guess. Dude, why does he run like that? That's very bothersome and honestly kind of strange. House. <laughs> it's not much right now. <laughs> but what do you expect for a free house? I'm sure you'll be able to fix it up and make it real pretty. Maybe add some bunting. Bunting always helps. Wow, what a junkyard. I mean, a very unique property with a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? All right, me. This dude is a freaking class A asshole. Dude. I brought you a couple things to get you started with your farm. Sweetie BT seed, a sweet root vegetable which can be used to create fruit. Fru fru sorry, fructose. Fructose. Why am I having like such difficulty pronouncing words? Am I having a stroke? Takes three days to grow. Give. A basic scraper. Give. Give it a shot. Just don't dig deeper than six feet down anywhere around here. Okay. That last stare she just gave me was was not cool. Select dirt scraper in hot bar. I didn't I didn't press that. Press Q to enable farming mode. This will help you select the land you want to work on. Uh to use a scraper on the pieces of land highlighted in the viewfinder thing. <laughs> the viewfinder thing? It's like not even sure. 
So then what do I do? But what can I do about these things? What if I don't want this here? What if I want like it to be like more out in the center? I don't want to till like... Oh, we're running out of energy already. Remember, arrow keys uh, change the item in your hotbar. Pressing Q enables farming mode. Gotcha. Whoops. No. Hello? Splenda. Now you just need to water it. Here's a drib dribbly can you can use. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. What is that noise? A dribbly can? Fill it with water from the tap here and then use it to water your seeds. Very well. Yeah. Where's the thing? Dude, my house is like legit just leaking. Like it's not even raining outside and there's just water like pouring everywhere. What in the world? That's great. Press Q to re-enter farming mode in order to water your crops. We did not need to water again. That was... That was unnecessary. Three days. I guess before they fully... Yeah. You got it. Now all you have to do is water the crops each day and harvest them once they're fully grown. You're already a pro at farming, maybe semi-pro. You'll improve. Anywho, you must be pretty tired, so get some rest and I'll check in on you tomorrow morning. Okay. Go to sleep. <laughs> Alright, man, whatever you say. Open the house. Is there like a clock somewhere? I, I don't actually know. Your stuff. Deposit. That's our luggage bag. Oh, we can make food in this game? That's sick. Dope. Okay, so I'm probably going to end this here since it's just go to sleep. And I'm assuming a new day is literally about to start. So I'm going to go to sleep here and I will end this off here, I suppose. I mean, it's saving. I really hope that the next time I come back to this game, this is where I leave off at because there are some other life sim games, I'm not going to name any names, where it says saving and when you turn it off, if you don't hit the sack before you shut the game off, you're cooked. Don't know if that's how this game works, I doubt it. It's not set to a console clock or anything, so I'm assuming it's just, it just actually just saves. Anyway, that's going to be it for this part. So here's the situation with this game. So far, I like it a lot. I like how cheeky and smirky that it is. Very funny. It's very cute. Uh, obviously, I really wish there were more customization options in the game. But hey, we have barely even explored anything yet. So uh, I'm sure there's a lot more the game has to offer. So I can't wait to see in the next part what I'm probably going to be ended up doing for this uh, game is um, I'm gonna be streaming this for sure so I think what I'll probably do is if I do end up streaming it before I end up recording another part what I'll just do is upload the stream to my YouTube channel and do that do that back and forth so whenever I stream the game I'll be uploading it as a as its own whatever follow-up here on the channel and if you know obviously if I do a recording that'll be uploaded here as well um, just because I don't think I'm gonna keep this as a YouTube exclusive thing probably going to be ending up streaming this game as well so um yeah so honestly i think the next uh the next video that i upload for this game will in fact be a replay uh or a vod rather from my live stream so we'll kind of be continuing off this part in my live stream my upcoming live stream so yeah uh, that's what I'm doing. This is Ooblets. Once again, uh, the game is out now in early access. You get it exclusively on the Epic Game Store. I know a lot of people are kind of upset about it being on the Epic Game Store or not on Steam. It's not really that big of a deal, honestly. It's really not. Like, the game runs just fine on the computer. It runs the same that it will probably run if it were on Steam. It's $19.99 uh, from now until July 23rd, I believe. And then the price will go up 
to its normal price, which is twenty four ninety nine, which totally caught me off guard because I was expecting to shell out like twenty five, twenty seven bucks for this game, but uh, on release. But it turns out they decided to do a launch discount, which was really cool and thoughtful of them. So yeah, cop this game if you can. If you enjoy like a Animal Crossing, if you enjoy like Harvest Moon, those type of games, you'll probably enjoy this. Um, but like I said, it's an early access, so there's a lot, a lot that's coming to it. There's a lot missing right off the bat. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to check it out further. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to drop a like, drop a comment if you want, and sub to the channel if you haven't done so yet. It's been a while since I've done some YouTube videos, but I'm going to try and be hammering some out at least every other day or something as frequently as possible. Um, because I really want to get back into gear, back into the grind of everything. But uh, anyway, until next time, you guys keep on gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.